Hello and welcome back to another video and today we're doing an interview with Gozi Ugwu and just talk about his time with various clubs. FC United striker also played for a lot of other National League clubs as well including Chesterfield, Woking and Yeovil also played for Reading as well. So big thanks to God for agreeing to do this with me. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you're all doing okay during the lockdown and staying inside most importantly. And yeah, let's get straight into the interview. Yo, what's going on, Nathan, man? Hope you're good, bro. Uh, so, first off, Goz, how you doing and how are you coping uh, during lockdown? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm good. I'm in good spirits. Uh, you know, I'm just self-isolating like anyone else. Um, just, in, just trying to enjoy it, really. Go, staying fit, doing a lot of uh, a lot of running, road running, walking, um, garden workouts. <laughs> do you know what I mean? So, it's, it's not really much I can do uh, like anyone else, but... Um, just trying to enjoy it and enjoy it for what it is and stay staying safe which is the main thing and uh which is which is obviously helping helping a lot of people so you started the Reading academy at 13 did you have any other academy offers before that um <clears throat> any other academy offers before reading uh when i was about 10 10 i got offered a place at oxford united's academy um they just approached approached me through my school really and but at the time, I just weren't ready. I weren't ready. I, I didn't really want to go. I was enjoying enjoying playing Sunday League with my mates and my school friends, you know, going back to school, talking about it. I guess I just didn't really want to <clears throat> commit to it like that. And I was just enjoying the process. So that was really what happened at that time. And obviously, f when I turned 13, Reading come in. And um, at that, that age, I was a bit more serious about football at that time um, in terms of knowing that I wanted to pursue it as a career. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, obviously, then the rest is history, as they say. You had a loan back at Fleet in 2012. What was that like? Was that a good learning experience for you as your first loan? Yeah, I loved I loved my time at Fleet um, the first time. You know, it was it was quite a shock to the system at the time. <clears throat> it was quite a shock to the system at the time, um, you know, coming into men's football uh, from academy level. Um, but uh, to be fair, it was, it was a great, great group of lads. I was fortunate. And, um, you know, I was playing under Liam Daish as well, which was a lot of help at the time. <laughs> you know, he weren't easy on the lads, which I, which I quickly found out. But but he was um, he was a good manager to play under. And I definitely did learn a lot playing with that with that group of squad. Would you do anything differently if you had the chance at Reading? Um, no, I don't think I would. I would have done anything differently. You know, I really enjoyed my time at Reading. That was ultimately my um, football education, as, as to say, you know, I took a lot from there. Um, met a lot of a lot of people there, and and still 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 am friends with a lot of a lot of players that come through the system at the time. Um, but yeah, no, I definitely wouldn't take take any regrets from that. You know, it was it was, it was a great experience, and you know, still a club that I'm very fond of. So after leaving Reading, you went to Scotland. Uh, was that a good experience for you? Yeah, I definitely I, I definitely did enjoy playing in Scotland at the time. You know, it was a, it was definitely a culture shock. Um, you know, just obviously leaving Reading, then going to a to another country in in respect, to obviously staying in the UK. But um, yeah, it was it was definitely definitely a time I enjoyed. Uh, I took a lot a lot away from that. Um, I was fortunate again, obviously, to be to be in the midst of another great group of lads, and you know the fans are the fans there are <laughs> like very passionate. And um, yeah, I definitely did enjoy enjoy playing for the club. And uh, to be honest, I still watch for their results now and then. So, so yeah, no, it was a great experience. Your most prolific spell was at Woking. What would you put that down to? Yeah, I was um, most prolific at Woking. Obviously, uh, scored what twenty twenty one goals that season. And um, yeah, I, I, I guess it was. I put it down to you know it just just happened to click at the time um I just more or less understood what what I needed to do you know in in terms of um getting into positions and um the types of finishes and stuff like that which is obviously what you learn as your career progresses you know with experience um you know it was a new squad then as well so obviously us getting to know each other I was just getting into the right positions and um it's fortunate enough, obviously, to keep scoring. You know, once as a striker, once you score one, uh, you know they just keep rolling in. And um, I was fortunate enough, to obviously, to carry that 
through to the season. Do you have any regrets about moving to Chesterfield after leaving Woking? No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't say I have any regrets. You know, um, I still still did take a take a lot away from that. You know, it was a, it was a difficult period in um, in respect. You know, obviously, you know, I spent two years there. I probably didn't make up to what twenty appearances. Yet. If that, you know, um, within those two years, my first season was obviously hampered with injury injuries, and um, that was uh, quite hard to deal with. Obviously, coming off the back of a of a really good season with Woking. Um, on top of that, you know, the team, the team not doing well and obviously getting relegated that season, you know, not, and me not being able to to really help with that, obviously being out for, for the majority of the season. And, um, you know, I've, what I take take away from that, you know, you know, it was, it was, it was definitely a, a, men, a mental, 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 mental challenge. Um, but that's something I, I did, I did take away from it really, you know, I come out, come out of that, come out of that a lot stronger. And um, definitely, definitely didn't don't take any regrets from that. You know, met met a great great group of lads, um, and uh, yeah, it was just a great experience really in in that respect of as in learning about yourself and and mentally being able to get through stuff like long term injuries and and you know disappointment and stuff like that. So definitely don't take any regrets from that. Was Gary Hill a big influence in you signing back for the fleet last season? Yeah, I definitely do say he was a big influence in me signing, signing uh, back at Ebbsfleet. You know, obviously I had a big, um, I had a successful season with him at Woking, and uh, yeah, it was definitely, definitely a big part of me. Obviously coming back, on top of um, every time I I played, I played for Ebbsfleet. Obviously towards the end of last season, I really enjoyed my time again. So, <clears throat> so yeah, it was just, it was just an easy decision in the end. Really, you know. I, um, I was very fond of the fans and just playing, playing for the club really. So it was an easy, easy decision in the end. You have an unconventional but very effective penalty t- technique. Is that something you developed over the years? Uh, <clears throat> yeah, I, I definitely do say. You know, I've I've always taken penalties really, um, from being young all the way all the way to now. Really, always always taking penalties, and um, I guess that's just a technique that. Um, I sort of developed over the years, and uh, just seems to working. Seems to be working, you know. And I, I, I guess I just got to carry on, really. You know, I've obviously not missed yet. You know, touch wood. Um, but yes, yeah, so, uh, it's just a, something I've just developed over over the years, and it seems to be working for me. And uh, I just feel comfortable doing it now. What have you made of this season so far? Yeah, this season's been been difficult, obviously for everyone, everyone involved. There's been a lot going on, um, you know, within the club, behind the scenes, and as I'm sure many of the fans know. Um, but but saying that, the I think the main positive is is you know we've all we've all stuck together, uh, being being a squad, uh, the staff, all the way through to the fans, you know, especially the fans, you know, they've. They've definitely um, helped us through this process, um, but it was also a nice, a nice feeling to, um, uh, well, end on a high really in, in terms of our last game. You know, uh, winning on uh, obviously winning away at Halifax on TV, um, and obviously coming out of the relegation zone and leading up to that, I think we had a lot of, a lot of good results, and um, we we'll st- we started to hit the run. Uh, that we've that we've been waiting for all season really, which was so it's quite disappointing obviously for the season to end prematurely. But um, saying that, you know, it was it was it's also a nice feeling for uh, for it to end on a high. You spent a lot of time in League Two and the National League. Would you say there's a big difference in quality between the two leagues? Big difference between the leagues. I would say, yeah, I would I would say that uh, no, you know I wouldn't I wouldn't say there's much of a big difference really that. In terms of um, physicality, there uh, it's, it's sort of similar. Um, I think the only difference can be in um, obviously certain qualities uh, within some teams. But saying that, um, you know, I think I think within League Two and National League, you know, if you if you've got the balance of uh, physicality and um, and technique and uh, you know a good tactical good tactical ability within the, within the squad. I think you you always do well within and within both of those leagues, you know, which is which is why a lot of the teams that obviously get promoted from the national league go on to then get promoted again in the, in League Two. 
So, um, yeah, I definitely say there's not much of a difference. What would you say the best moment in your career is? I think one moment that always pops pops to mind is uh, is my first my first professional um, league goal um, away away at Scunthorpe, obviously for Yeovil. Uh, yeah, I think I think that's that's definitely my best moment. You know, scoring my first goal. Uh, it was just it was just a great feeling, a feeling that I've just always been waiting for, really. So when it actually happened, um, I just remember being so excited. And funny enough, I went on to get uh, to score another goal within the same game. So I ended up scoring two, two goals um, in the same game. Obviously, after, one after the uh, after I got my first my first um, professional professional goal. So that's definitely one of the moments that stick in my mind, and um, definitely a moment that I'll take away take away with me. Yeah. What is your best moment at Fleet so far? I think best moment would have to be would have to be quite recent actually. Uh, the the away win at Hartlepool. I think we definitely did need that win at the time. Um, the game was was a hectic game, you know, very hostile. Um, but we we put in a great performance as a team, solid performance, and um, obviously it was it was my best moment. Obviously, you know, I got a penalty in the end, and there was a lot of commotion. I had to wait a long time, um, but obviously I scored, which is which I was delighted about. And obviously we won the game, so it was that was probably one of our one of our best one, well one of my best moments. Uh, in, a, in a fleet shirt, because um, that obviously went on to to help us leading towards a Halifax game, and uh, obviously we won that as well. So, so yeah, I guess I guess that was um that was definitely a big moment, big moment for the team. What's the best goal you've scored for Fleet? Well, the Maidenhead Maidenhead game. I guess I've scored for the best goal I've scored for the Fleet. Um, second goal, obviously the second goal. I obviously scored a very good first goal. And um, uh, you know something; those those sort of things only seem to happen in like something like FIFA or something. Do you know what I mean? So, you know, obviously straight from kick off to um, then get the ball again and uh, go past a couple of defenders and uh, whip it in, whip it in the corner. You know, it was a yeah, it was it was probably one of my best moments in the in the fleet in the fleet shirt. Who's the best player you've played with? Oh, that's a difficult one. I guess one of the best players I've played with was uh, would have to be Jason Roberts, um, just just because I think uh, I learnt the most I learnt the most of him being a being another striker and obviously he was he was very experienced at his time at Reading um, and you know he went on to help to help us obviously get promotion that season but um, yeah was def- I say I say I definitely did learn a lot from him on the pitch and off the pitch you know. He's, just an intelligent, intelligent striker um, who just just knows what they have to do really on the pitch, and and uh, knows what they're good at. And I think I did, I did learn a lot from him, and I did take away a lot from him, you know, on the pitch and off the pitch. You know, obviously, obviously, I was training with him every day, um, being being in the squad, um, uh, you know, just just various various things really. And I did did take a lot from uh, just being around him. Um, yeah, man. Hopefully, hopefully this interview is cool, and uh, you're staying safe and you're well. And um, you know, man. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon, bro. And uh, yeah, man. Take care. So that is the end of the interview. I just want to say a massive thank you for Gozi for agreeing to do that with me. Um, obviously, all of my own back. So thank, big thank you to Gozi for recording those clips and sending those to me. So much, much appreciated. Um, and as I said, make sure you're all staying safe during lockdown. Making sure you're not going out, not spreading the virus, um, and just staying safe keeping good care of your loved ones and yeah making sure you're all safe um i'm just been doing this kind of stuff um so i hope you're all safe hope you leave a like on the video as i said massive thank you to gozi um subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all later